Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Siren Frost, and this week I have a deck, two deck profile updates for you guys. The first one we're doing for this uh, video right now is the update on uh, my, my Blitz CEO Wilstra deck. Um, now, listen, I'll be honest with you guys 100%, I don't always play this deck because it just doesn't correspond with my own version of a playstyle, but... Based on the fact that we're getting new support, some more support in the um, DZ format for um, the Divine series when um, Wilstra becomes one of the Faded cards. I figure it's best to get this deck updated as much as I can, especially I got some of the promos and some of the rest of the cards I needed for set the from the set 13 collection. And pretty much this is basically going to be like my version of what I think the deck is more mechanical about is about the number of product cards you use, how you operate them, um, this and this kind of thing. But <clears throat> I'm not saying the deck is pretty bad. I mean, I've seen people play this deck like a beast. It's just my version is probably not what everybody else is probably running, but it's what I think is not a bad deck. And yes, this deck has been inspired by Taizo from one of the pro players in Vanguard, well dressed. Um, I forgot what his team name, team sleeve was, but it's something like Blitz Anchor or something or something about Anchor. But I'll have to look into it probably soon. But um, without any further ado, let's just jump right into the video and see what happens. And before you all say in the comment section. Or, um, if you guys are thinking, like, well, this person doesn't always seem very too thrilled about up, um, reviewing a deck or doing a deck profile if he or she is not really feeling it. You're right. I'm not feeling it all too well. Just because out of all the Brian Gate decks that I'm kind of used to, like, um, Sarah Snow and Orphis, Regis, and Gravidia, these other ones, I'm like, try and get a good feel to them, so to speak. But, that's just a little keep in mind, bearing all that in mind. So, let's just hop right into the video of the ride deck. And, of course, this is a, this is going to be the 54 uh, deck profile. And, yes, I did recount my decks or my cards before I did the, in these videos now. We don't want it to happen last time with Avangarda. Okay, for grade zero, we're playing Blitz Mechanic Morton, of course. This is the ride line right here. And we have Blitz Programmer Strasser. And there will be a full new ride line in the DZ series with Warden when their evolution comes to, comes to light. We also got Blitz Technology Researcher Uber. And then we have CEO Wilstra, which is the main grade, um, grade 3 in the deck. So that's the ride line confirmed. <coughs> Pretty much standard at that point. And yes, I'm using the imaginary GIF... Uh, Sleeves just for the ride deck alone. Just because I don't have the sleeves, you know, go with Wellstra. Or at least I can't find the colors of them. And for the triggers, you know, this is just my my standard, typical number of triggers. We're using actually the same the same one we'll be using from Avangarda. Unless they can create other mechanical type Ugh, not clear. Um, mechanical other trigger units, but so far as got use we kind of do. So, <clears throat> so we're using four copies of Alterate Sphere Dragon for our heal triggers. Two copies of a Miller Ray Connector for our draws. I know I'm thinking about maybe taking out the draws and putting the eighth critical and then the third front because this is what the deck I think could use in my personal opinion, but every deck is pretty much different and every style is kind of different. So for the seven criticals, of course, we're still using Star Aggression Dragon and then four copies of Decker Cop for the extra 2k power when it goes into the soul. Front triggers, we got playing two of them for uh, Cardinal Draco Empire and then one Edelbreath, which, as I recall, that's the over trigger that everybody seems to be bitching about a lot because of its ability to not only gain 100 million power, but it doubles the power and doubles the critical to all your front row. 
it happens, okay? When someone sees a brand gate deck, you're like, oh my god, it's the hype train. It depends on your point of view. I never had a problem with it. I may have got a little salty about it at first, but I learned to overcome it. And the choice of sleeve I did choose is just silver because it's a factory kind of deck. You know, you most walls in the factories are mostly silver. Unless they're different colors, but I doubt it. Now, for the order, um, not for the orders, um, for the gray ones, let me just make sure I counted those correctly. This is going to be uh, 13 gray ones. So we are playing um, four copies of the Blitzstaff Muna. Um, Muna's skill is, if your order zone has three or more cards, this unit cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects and gets 5,000 power. And includes the opponent's cards. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> when any player's unit is placed on rear guard from your order zone during any player any player's main phase, soul blast one and draw a card. Basically, when you call upon a, a product card from your order zone, she does gain the draw a card ability, but it's only a one turn only. So if you really want to, you can always play this at three or maybe two, if you really want to. But I chose to play for just in case if one gets, you know, I don't know if it gets retired on the spot, but, oh damn. Whew. But, mm, crap, I just lost a train of thought. Basically, I'm just using her as a weight, just in case if you get one in damage zone, you get lost a card, or have a guard with one, or have a discard one. There's always a four copies just, to, just in case of emergencies. That's the main, that's it for the main great unit. Here's the perfect guards. Uh, three planet wall dragons for our complete guards. One elementaria sanctitude for our blitz order. Now, we are using, of course, product cards in here. <clears throat> so I'm playing two copies of incandescent flame cannon, um, abs, hall. Just because I like the skill of the retiring and... Even if you didn't retire, draw a card and then discard one. So I'm playing two of those in the in the deck, and then I'm also playing three copies because I don't know if four is a bit much, but I'm thinking I'm picking maybe up the fourth one. But three is okay with me. I'm playing three copies of Mobile Kennel in Garten. In Garten, skill is when this card is put is put from hand or order zone into into draw during your turn. Put this card into into or zone or soul. Okay. And then it's operating skill. <clears throat> or zone. When this card is operated, call this card as a ten thousand slash one critical normal unit with boost to an open rear guard and put that unit into the order zone at the end of the turn. So if you really wanted to, you can actually play a four copies of this of this little guy. I chose to play three because it's still in the testing phase right now. But give or take, it may or may work in somewhat progressed. Go away, fly. No one talks to you. But yeah, that's the card I chose to the number I chose. <clears throat> now moving on to the great Twos, which is, I think, the same number. Let me double check again. Nope, it's 14, um, 14 grade twos. Okay, so that's one card higher. We're playing four copies of Blitz Accounting Department staff, uh, Burgina. Her skill is, when this unit is placed on rear guard, if you have a Vanguard with Willstra in its card named Carabas 1, choose a product card from your order zone and operate it. When a product in your order zone is operated by another card's ability, Soul Blast 2 and draw a card. So again, it's an extra draw power, but it's only a one turn skill. So you may can only, you also can love to play this unit basically at 3 or 2 as well, if you believe in that effect more. But I like the effect when you do operate a product card, you can operate it. So give or take what you want to use with that. Next one, we're playing four copies of Operator Master Freyhit. 
And I know this is probably all German names, so. When this unit is placed on rear guard, if you if your older zone has a set order, Cabalus 1 and discard a card from hand. Search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as your vanguard, or up to one product card. Reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. If you have a vanguard with Wellstrand and its card name, choose up to one product card from your hand and put it into your order zone. When this unit attacks the vanguard, if your vanguard with Wellstrand has card name, Soul Blast 2, choose a product card from your order zone and operate it. So, Regina and Fright Hit will operate your units as well. Give or take of what the situation might be in early game or a rush or how you want to do these kind of things. Okay. Now I am playing three copies of Heavy Strike Cannon Fortress Fred Schultz. Fred Schultz? Not Fred Schultz. Uh, Fred Schultz, I think. I know it's a little uh, German name. But I'm trying to pronounce the best way I can. So, Cam Fortress will go with that. Now, if we all remember what this card actually did. When this card is operated, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and retire it. If you did not retire a, a card, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and it gets minus 5,000 power in the end of turn. Order Zone. When your grade 3 or greater vanguard is placed by writing from, grade, from a grade 3, put this card into drop. Search your deck for up to 1... Mobile Fortress of Obliteration, Fred Schultz Maximum, Fred Schultz Maximum, put, okay, cool, put it into your order zone, and if you search your deck, shuffle your deck, if you put a card from your hand and draw a card. So I'm playing three of it just in case we want to have more products to use. This one, however, is a probably a good one, more better than the other one. This one is three copies of Assault Flight Carrier Lubazol. Lubazol? Lub um, Lutzo, I think so. Um, this is from the set 9 collection. When this card is put into the order zone, if you have a Vanguard with Blitz in his card name, draw a card and Soul Charge 1. Operate. It's order zone. When this card is operated, if it is your main phase, look at the top five cards you're deck. Choose up to one card. From among them with a grave less than or equal to your vanguard, call the rear guard and shuffle your deck. It is if it is your battle phase, draw a gout. So that's why I'm saying like there are some situations within the within the product units that you can use and what not use. But that's why we have our operators so we can figure out what, what's the best thing. But most of the time most of the time we do need Wellstra on the field. So it's probably best to leave save some of these until Welshra comes into play. Personally. So that is it for the grade twos. Now onto the grade threes. We're playing only seven grade threes in this deck, so the ones we have here is three more copies of Wilstra just for persona ride ability. And then four copies of Mobile Fortress of Obliteration of Fred Show Maximum. You cannot play this card. Well, of course you can't. You can't play this card. You cannot play this card? What? So that means... How do we fucking do that? Like, that's a question. How do you do that, exactly? Okay, hold on. Operate. Order zone. When this, when this card is operated, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it. Choose one of your opponent's vanguard, and it gets minus 5,000 power in the end of turn. Cowboss 1 and return the rear guard from to hand. Call this as um, 23,000 plus 1 critical a uh, normal unit to an open rear guard. If you call the card, put that unit into your zone and to the end of at the end of the turn. So that's why I feel like this is a good thing to have because this is the main unit card or product card you want to have in the deck mostly. Damn bug. Okay. Um. Sorry, guys. I got a little sidetracked for the last crap. <laughs> um. But yes, that is it for the updated video for Willstra. Now I know I kind of stumble upon it, stumble a little bit. I know I got a few outtakes here and there, and I apologize 100%. 
It was not my intention to become difficult with this, but like I said, you guys, Wilstra has always been a diff one of the few difficult decks I've always had a problem with, even though even though I try so hard to practice as much as I can. Unfortunately, it just kind of gets harder for me to remember than it needs to be, but it is a very good deck. I'll give it that. It just needs more practice. But this is an updated version that I do have from the set 13 collection, plus a few promos. So I think this is going to be working just fine. Just needs some more practice. But that is it for the updated video for CEO Blitz, uh, Blitz CEO Wellstra. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. Sorry for stumbling a little bit and get a little confused or a little sidetracked. So that was my apology. But however, if you guys do like the content I do create on this channel, be sure to subscribe. Comment down below. Thumbs up for this channel. Show some love. And if you guys are also Wilshire players, let me know what your best thoughts course of action will be making this deck more better. I am very open to any advice you guys can give me. As long as it's reasonable and actually an opinion, not, you know, barking at me saying like, like what Danny Dane used to do all the time. But anyways, that is it for the video, you guys. And as always, there will be a full deck list in the box down below. And as always, I've been your host, Iron Frost, signing out.